10 Myths About Historical Figures We Still Believe Hello and welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we tell you the truth behind the myths. In this video, we're going to debunk 10 historical myths that you probably believe. Let's get started. Myth number 10. Did JFK really say he was a donut? Well, not exactly. When President Kennedy declared, Ich bin ein Berliner, in a speech, some thought he mistakenly called himself a jelly donut. But in reality, Berliner refers to someone from Berlin. It was just a linguistic nuance, not a pastry proclamation. Myth number 9. Betsy Ross designed the American flag, right? Wrong. While Betsy Ross is a patriotic legend, historical evidence suggests that the flag's design was likely a collaborative effort among several individuals. Ross may have sewn flags, but she likely didn't create the iconic design we know today. Myth number 8. Did Captain Cook really discover Australia? Well, not quite. Indigenous Australians had lived on the continent for over 65,000 years before Cook's arrival. He may have been the first European to document parts of the coastline, but to say he discovered Australia erases the rich history of its original inhabitants. Myth number 7. Did Walter Raleigh introduce tobacco to England? Surprisingly, no. While Raleigh popularized tobacco in England, it was actually introduced by earlier explorers like John Hawkins and Sir Francis Drake. Raleigh may have helped make it trendy, but he wasn't the first to bring it across the Atlantic. Myth number 6. Was Ronald Reagan considered for the lead role in a movie about Boudicca, the Celtic queen who fought against Roman invaders? It's a fascinating rumor, but there's no concrete evidence to support it. Reagan's Hollywood career was notable, but his connection to Boudicca is purely speculative. Myth number 5. Did Boudicca invent wheel spikes for chariots? While Boudicca was a fierce warrior, the invention of wheel spikes predates her time. Archaeological evidence suggests that spiked wheels were used in ancient civilizations long before Boudicca's rebellion against the Romans. Myth number 4. Was Walt Disney cryogenically frozen after his death? Despite persistent rumors, there's no credible evidence to support this claim. Disney was cremated and laid to rest in a cemetery in California. The idea of his frozen preservation is simply a myth that has captured the public's imagination. Myth number 3. Was Julius Caesar born by Caesarean section? While Caesar's name is associated with the surgical procedure, it's unlikely that he was born this way. Caesarean sections were performed in ancient times, but they were primarily done to save the baby when the mother died during childbirth. Caesar's mother is believed to have lived long after his birth. Myth number 2. Was Queen Victoria as prudish as history suggests? Contrary to popular belief, Queen Victoria had a passionate and romantic side. While she was known for her strict moral values, she had a loving relationship with her husband, Prince Albert, and they had nine children together. Behind closed doors, Victoria was far from being a sexual prude. And finally, myth number one. Did Catherine the Great die while having sex with a horse? Absolutely not. This scandalous rumor is nothing more than a vicious smear campaign. Catherine the Great was a shrewd and capable ruler who modernized Russia, not someone who engaged in such bizarre activities. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed learning the truth behind these 10 historical myths. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching Science Deli, and we'll see you next time.